Pick the wrong part-time job and you could be fined or kicked out of university. Pick the right part-time job and it can be a learning opportunity with a paycheck. The choice is yours. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're talking about how international students in the UK can get part-time jobs. Because unlike in India or in many other countries, when you study in the UK, it's very common to get a part-time job to make ends meet because the UK can be a very expensive place to live. But there's lots of do's and don'ts when it comes to working as an international student in the UK. Which is why today we're breaking down jobs international students can and can't do in the UK, the average pay you can expect to earn, websites to find these jobs, the pros and cons of each of these roles, and live openings. So watch all the way till the end. If you're new, I'm Ashika and we talk about working or studying anywhere across the world. And with that, let's dive in. While international students in the UK can work part-time, they must follow specific restrictions regarding the type and the amount of work that they can do. And there's a reason for this. A while ago, many international students who moved here to study took up jobs and work long hours and they typically neglect university, not turn up for class and fail the subject which is why the Home Office decided to regulate how much international students could work in the UK. When it comes to your working hours during term time, international students on a student visa can work up to 20 hours per week. During holidays and vacation periods, students can work full time, which is 40 hours. Now, in case you're wondering what types of jobs students in the UK can take up, there's permitted jobs and not permitted jobs. Students can work in most types of part time jobs that comply with the working hour restrictions. But on the other hand, there are certain jobs and activities that international students cannot do, including self-employment, and this includes freelance work or running your own business. So you can't start your own startup, you can't monetize your YouTube or your Instagram channel, and you absolutely cannot start gardening in your neighbor's house all by yourself. You also cannot work as a professional sports person or a coach. Working as an entertainer as well is generally prohibited, so no, you cannot go and busk on the road or sing for money. When it comes to permanent full-time jobs, students cannot take up permanent full-time positions while they are studying in the UK. When it comes to doctors or dentists in training, unless you're on a recognized foundation program, students cannot work in these roles. When it comes to work placements and internships, Work placements that are part of your course and are assessed as part of your studies are permitted. Now, these placements must be no more than one third of the total duration of degree level studies. Internships and part time work relevant to your field of study is also allowed, provided they adhere to the working hour restrictions. If you aren't sure if you're allowed to do a particular job, you can always check by doing the following. You can check your visa conditions. Always check the specific conditions attached to your visa. These conditions will be outlined in your visa documentation that you would have received. You can also check with your university. Universities often have career services and international student advisors who can provide guidance on acceptable employment. And finally, ensure your employer is aware of your visa restrictions. They need to comply with UK immigration law and may ask to see your visa to confirm your eligibility to work. Now, before we break off into the types of part-time jobs, a quick word about today's sponsors, Amber, your home away from home. Amber has some really exciting offers for you this month. Are you ready? One, they're offering a £50 cashback on all offers made until the mid of August 2024. Two, they're offering an entire month of rent free for one lucky winner. Now, all you need to do is, number one, click on the link in the description. Two, book your accommodation. And again, don't forget to use the link. And three, remember to claim your £50 cashback as soon as you move in. The deadline to book this is the 15th of August and the winner will be announced on the 25th of August. That's it. Claim your £50 cashback and sit back and wait for an email from Amber. Now, let's break down what you actually can and can't do as work in the UK. And we're going to go from easy to difficult. Now, while we do this, I might present some hard-hitting facts that you may not like, but my intention isn't to upset you it is to help you get a realistic picture of things here. Starting off with hospitality roles. You've got roles like baristas, waiters, waitresses, kitchen assistants, and bartenders. The average pay is eight pounds to 10 pounds per hour. Plus, in some cases, you also get tips. If you're looking for jobs in this sector, you can visit cafes and restaurants and bars to inquire about openings. You can also use portals like caterer.com and local hospitality job boards. Now, I know a lot of folks who come from countries where it's not common for students to work look down on roles like this but listen up there is absolutely nothing wrong in doing any honest work get rid of the misconception that you didn't come to the uk to wait tables 
Yes, of course you did. You came here to study. Now, if there is an opportunity to earn while you're studying without too many restrictions, which allows you to go home and focus on your courses, take it. At the same time, you learn about the service industry, which is one of the most difficult industries. You learn how to interact with customers. You learn to be patient. You learn how to deal with difficult situations all of which are going to help you going forward. The pros of working in the hospitality industry is you get an experience in customer service. It's a simple way to earn and you carry none of this work home. The cons, of course, is low earnings. And of course, the work may not be related to your course. At the moment, this is what a typical opening in the hospitality sector will look like. Next up, we have retail jobs. Another type of job that you can consider is of sales assistance cashiers and stock clerks. You can expect to earn anywhere from £8 to £10 per hour in this industry. And to land jobs in this sector, look at job portals like Indeed, Student Job and company websites. You can also check local stores and shopping centers for hiring notices. And the good thing is you'll find lots of people, not just students, working in the retail sector as a first or a second job because it's a straightforward and a very quick way to earn. Now, among the pros is you get experience in retail and customer service, and of course, you don't carry any work home. It's straightforward work, but the cons are, of course, lower earnings, and it may not be related to what you're studying. And this is what a typical job opening will look like. Next up, you can consider jobs on campus at your university. Roles like library assistants or administrative assistants, student ambassadors or research assistants. You'll have the chance to assist with lectures and more importantly, gain professional experience in your industry or field of study if you take a research assistant or a teaching assistant. The average pay you can expect to earn is anywhere between £9 to £11 per hour. To find jobs in this sector, you can check your university's career services website and the bulletin boards or you can contact campus departments directly for openings. Now, the pros are since you're on campus, you will save money on your commute and the pay is slightly higher and not much background work required. Of course, the cons is the competition will be a lot higher for jobs like these and it may or may not be relevant to your course again. And this is one of the job openings. Next up, if you speak a second language, absolutely brilliant because you can work as a translator but keep in mind, if there are thousands of people already speaking the same language, your chances will naturally drop. Some of the roles include interpretation moderator, interpreter or localization translator. The average pay is anywhere from £12 to £25 per hour. Now, if you're looking for jobs in this sector, you can typically check Indeed, Read, Glassdoor and similar other websites. For specialized gigs, you can check Prozy.com and Translators Cafe. Now, the pros are exposure to corporate gigs, which might help when it comes to job hunting and, of course, good pay. The cons are, once again, might not be related to your line of study, while like most part-time jobs. And this is one of the job openings, and this is what a typical job opening will look like. Another role you can take up is that of a receptionist. A typical day will be answering calls, greeting customers, responding to queries, scheduling meetings or appointments, and day-to-day -day administrative activities. The average pay is anywhere from £9 to £12 per hour. And if you'd like a job as a receptionist, you should ideally check Indeed, LinkedIn, Glassdoor, Read, Student Boards, and Community Boards. One of the pros of working in this sector is you'll get extreme experience in customer service and you'll be able to improve your communication skills. Cons will not related to your line of study. And this is what a typical receptionist opening looks like. You can also take up the role of a customer service representative. Yes, it might not be the easiest job because very often you'll be dealing with unhappy customers who aren't very patient. But on the flip side, if you worked with customer service or at the customer service department, you will develop a key understanding of how a customer's mind works and for roles like marketing and sales, it is always helpful. Now, the average pay is anywhere from £9 to £12 an hour. And if you're looking for roles in this sector, you're going to typically check Indeed, read Total Jobs and the university job portals. One of the pros of working in the customer service industry is you'll get experience in customer service and be able to improve your communication skills. The cons, you will have to deal with a lot of annoyed customers. And this is what the opening for a remote customer service advisor looks like. Next up, you can tutor. And it could be roles like subject tutors, language tutors, or peer mentors. The average pay is anywhere from 15 to 30 pounds per hour, depending on the expertise and the level of tutoring you plan on giving. If you're looking for such jobs, you should ideally advertise your services on university boards, online platforms like Tutorful, and of course, through social media. And if you're wondering if it's really worth your time, 
To be honest, it helps you brush up on your own studies while you're helping others, which is absolutely great. And depending on how many students you tutor, whether it's one on one sessions or batches, you can honestly earn quite decently and it's more helpful in certain fields like research fields. Of course, the cons are you will get no real world experience. This is what the opening of a part time tutor will typically look like. And if you can get internships in the UK, there is absolutely nothing like it. The reason for this is the internships would be related to your field of study. And you'd typically get internships related to whatever you're studying, like marketing, finance or engineering. You can expect to earn anywhere between 15 to 20 pounds per hour for paid internships. Of course, some internships might be unpaid, but they will offer you invaluable experience. Now, for finding such jobs, you would typically use your university career services, LinkedIn, Indeed, and specialized internship portals like Rate My Placement. One of the pros is you will get relevant work experience, first hand understanding of the line of work you'll want, and more pay. Of course, the cons are lots of competition and the work won't necessarily end within work hours. Now, if I were you, I'd start off by checking these websites because these websites have pretty much all of the part-time jobs in the UK, especially those for students. There's Save the Student, Indeed, Read, Grab Jobs, Jora, Total Jobs, My Job Scotland, UK Part-Time Jobs, Student Job, Monster, Break Room, and Glassdoor. And that's a wrap. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, drop them below. And if you're looking for information on the best universities to study at in the UK, watch this.